Deku is way stronger than you think. So strong, in fact, that he could solo JJK, bro. And I'm being for real. Let us explain. We're your host. And we're going to start off with speed first. We'll start with Deku saving overhaul from this lady. Her name is Lady Nagala, and she basically has a gigantic bow action sniper rifle that comes out of her elbow. The scene we're going to go with is where she basically had a bazooka for a sniper and aimed it at overhaul. Now, we're going to underestimate Deku a tad bit by comparing her sniper rifle to an average Remington 700. So since there's many factors that can disrupt how fast a real life bullet can travel, we're just going to use people on YouTube shooting the gun and have a extremely rough estimate of how fast it can travel. So we got at least 274 meters a second. So the bullet is about maybe a meter away from overhaul and Deku just swoops in. And if we get rid of air resistance, basically meaning the bullet kept a constant speed while trying to reach overhaul, that means it would take the bullet 0.003649 seconds to reach overhaul now deku started really moving when she had already fired the bullet which means deku got to overhaul in less than 0.003649 seconds now some fans might not like this but we're gonna use the anime to really try and estimate the speed of the bullet now it takes about one to three seconds for the bullet to even get close to the building overhaul was on and we can assume this because as soon as she shoots the bullet she turns around and takes a shot at deku in that time interval so we're gonna use 274 meters a second to find our distance and the distance is super roughly about 274 to 822 meters and deku dodges a bullet and then he goes saves overhaul but the bullet is already close to overhaul like we said meaning he'd probably travel 274 to 822 meters in 0.003649 seconds and even lady nagan says that he moved faster than the bullet so now distance over time we get 75,089 to 225,226 meters a second which is 218 to 656 times the speed of sound. Deku was, I guess, buffed or amped because he was using 100% Fajin, but he was using 45% one for all, which is before Deku started tweaking and getting stronger. So the least he can travel is 218 times the speed of sound or like Mach 218. Some people would say his speed is faster and some wouldn't even say it's that fast, but we counted it to at least, he is at least moving Mach 218 bro. Now the easiest and simple way to get a speed is say naval laser is a photon beam, which we can back this up by saying Toru, the invisible girl, can change the direction of his light and the black hole lady also states that she can suck up light while sucking up his beam, which why would she say that unless she's sucking up light. Now with that being said, people in the show have shown to dodge it literally Mina and you already know Deku is like a bazillion times stronger and faster than Mina. Using naval laser as a photon means that Deku is at least faster than light or at least can react to stuff like light. People were also dodging these naval lasers at the beginning of the series so if you want to say that Lady Nagant's bullet is much faster than the speed of light and all that mess because the naval laser is faster than the speed of light and Mita was able to dodge it, meaning she could react to the speed of light. And we already know Deku is like a bazillion, billion, trillion times stronger than Mita and faster than Mita. So if we're able to basically go all out just to get to overall, that means that bullet would be faster than the speed of light and this, that, this, that, this, that. So if you want to say he's like thousands of times faster than the speed of light, you can say that. We're going to say that he's not and he's like maybe just faster than the speed of light and that's without all of his buffs that he uses later and we'll get into that later now deku's strength is a bit easier to calculate we just have to look at all might and shigaraki so let's talk about how the symbol of peace fought nomu so while fighting nomu all might gets tired and states that he threw 300 punches at nomu but in his heydays or his prime it would have been just five punches so basically that means in all might's prime instead of the fight that we got all might would have punched him five times and won but it took 300 punches so we got to do 300 and divide it by five and we get 60 that means means All Might was 60 times stronger in his prime than he was when fighting Nomu. Now Shigaraki is said to be as strong and fast as All Might and we're pretty sure he means Prime All Might because like come on just look at what Bro can do and he already said he's as fast as Prime All Might so it wouldn't be a huge assumption. 
Now, seeing how Deku can match Shigaraki in speed and strength, we can then say that they're relative to each other. So since Shigaraki is as strong as Prime All Might and Deku can keep up with Shigaraki, we're going to say Deku is as strong as Prime All Might, which would make sense because the more one for all gets passed down, the more it marinates and the more stronger it gets. So of course, Deku would be as strong or stronger than Prime All Might. So to see how strong Prime All Might really was, we're going to take All Might's strongest smash that we've seen, which is the United States of Smash, and try to calculate how strong it was. Now, the smash that All Might does literally carries tons of rubble in the air like literally half a building with its wind speed so for reference this is what an ef3 tornado does and this is what an ef5 tornado does pretty deadly stuff to save you the trouble take a look at this now i want you to take it with a grain of salt so now doing all of that that we totally did we come around 1.3 million pounds of force to 9.57 million pounds of force and this is also weakened all might by the way so now we have to multiply it by 60 to see how strong prime all might was if he were to do the United States of Smash. And we also need to convert pounds of force to foot pounds. And yes, there's a difference. And EF5 tornadoes are pretty big, but All Might's is not as big as an average one. So we're going to assume that the tornado actually covered 20 meters to 50 meters. And we'll just meet in between and say it covered like 100 feet. So now let's convert the foot pounds to tons of TNT. On the low end, we got 2.97 tons of TNT. On the high end, we got 18.6 tons of TNT, which honestly, it is kind of silly to see how strong you have to be to create a tornado. But, I mean, we tried our best. Now, for reference, All Might's punch is almost the same as a Chai Gen explosion in China. Not really, but just imagine All Might throws a punch and then this explosion happens. A little messed up, but it's for reference. Now, considering 45% Deku is equal to Prime All Might when compared to Shigaraki, we now got to multiply by 2.22 to get the closest to 100% of one for all. And now we get 6.6 tons of TNT to 41.5 tons of TNT. Deku also has a move that makes him punch five times times instantaneously so that means Deku has a move that can just output more than 41.5 tons in an instant basically producing five times more than that but when Deku's in overdrive his punch was supposedly stronger than his five times instant punch which means he can output more than his five times instant punch in one punch so now that overdrive punch has to at least be five times stronger so now we multiply again and we get a range of 33 tons to 207.5 tons of TNT. Now we're underestimating real hard here. And also the math is wonky. So at minimum, Deku's strongest attack is literal bombs. 33 tons of TNT, li literally bombs. He has bombs for hands. Now for Deku's strongest attack, we got to look at the movies. And yes, all movies are canon. So we're going to use the second movie to determine the true capabilities of Deku. And this is without gear shift, overdrive, all that mess. People are scared this to island level, but we're going to take it further beyond or try to. Now, if I simply just put this in your face, this storm is massive. That's storm right there massive and in the movie we can see the storm covers a city so it's safe to say getting rid of it takes a lot of power and to save you the awful headache we got from doing this a typical city could be like 28 million square feet and we're gonna stick with that instead of comparing it to places like new york which is more like a billion square feet to dumb it down for us and for some of you if the storm is covering 28 million square feet and you need to get rid of all that energy in the storm and completely wipe it out we need to look at all that energy in the thunderstorm but first if you watch our other videos you know we do not do all this not like dragon ball where it goes oh their punch was shaking the microcosm no bro it's not that so if you guys enjoy the video please hit us with a like and subscribe and tell us in the comments if you like this video or not it would help out a bunch anyways you guys are gonna have to take this with a grain of salt a normal thunderstorm's energy is like 8604 tons of tnt yes 8000 bro and deku and bakugo's punch would have to get rid of all that energy in a single punch which is nuclear levels of energy we're talking hundreds of terajoules and just to be safe let's just say 100 terajoules now let's split that between these two so they both get 50 terajoules each for their feet that's still almost 12,000 tons of tnt and according to these two websites that's half the fat man bomb deku is literally throwing nukes out of his hand we still have to time this by 60 and 5 because this movie was way before all this war stuff happened and that would give us 3 million 300 thousand tons of tnt and i don't even think this is wanking deku or anything or overly making him strong for no reason what we got this to is like the smallest of countries bro like super small country like half a country because this definitely destroys some of Vatican city so now imagine if deku just drops five instant punches while in overdrive at like vatican city bro the whole country is getting boomed so the minimum we got deku is like small bombs and the strongest we got deku is literally being able to boom small countries 
So durability and IQ. First off is IQ. He's above average. He's like gifted. He's a genius. Not extremely smart, like Code Geass level smart, but he is smart. And uh, that's basically it. He's smart. I don't know, bro. This video is about how strong he is, not, not how smart he is, bro. Now for durability, look at it like this. Durability does not equal attack potency, but attack potency does equal durability unless you're doing a technique or whatever. Like if Mike Tyson were to punch me and I eat the punch, that does not mean i can punch as hard as mike tyson but if i punch through a wall and my hand is not damaged at all then i am more durable than the wall or as durable so deku's strongest attack is his durability and since he's not using like a kamehameha or whatever he punches and his hand does not explode so his durability is also small country level. Now for the conclusion, Deku's faster than light. If we're using the All Might Prime stuff and he's like 60 plus times faster than the speed of light, Deku can destroy a small country if he just booms it enough. And overall, I think Deku kills everybody in Jujutsu Kaisen except for Gojo. Like and subscribe, please.